The merlin is our smallest bird of prey, not much bigger than a blackbird, and a fierce hunter and protector of the nest. This poem recalls a bitter winter when our farm was completely snowed in for six weeks. Food became scarce and I, as a small child, worried that we and the animals would starve. Portrait of the artist's mother as a Merlin. I woke once to a cold house. We were snowbound, running low on wood and cow nuts and out of cocoa. It was my task to warn my mother when the fire burned low. And perhaps I wanted her hands to gentle my hair into bra braids and comfort the baby. And so I went outside and called her name in cowyard, barn and across the blank fields and heard the dead silence of snow. I came on her out of sight of the house, perched on a weathered broken chair, steam rising about her in a cloud, her enormous green eyes fixed on a fresh killed hen she clutched by its claws. Her left hand plunged the carcass in a steaming bucket and the hand that stirred soup and soothed the baby stripped feathers from the breast and dropped them onto the snow. From my corner of the yard, I watched her white breaths, her hands tearing feathers from flesh, flurries of down drifting around her head like bloodied snow, catching on straws and the barbs of blackthorns. I was very young, made anxious by overheard talk of ruin and hunger and a long winter. And it helped that day to know that out of sight of the nest, my mother became a wild thing, a merlin at her plucking post. <laughs>